so this is a this is the sort of like idea I've got where I've got these like layers of, of rock. Looks really good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I'll play through it. This this little first part here. So it's kind of layered backgrounds and stuff, and then you got these colors going. And um, that was sort of an idea I had that I'm playing around with as well, having these like rotating bits for that. Um, uh, can you send a video uh, of your level? Yeah, sure. Uh, send send it, and I'll uh, I'll just leave it open in the tab, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll put it up when when we do the requests. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm going to focus on this part. I feel like it would be more interesting to move to another bit. And then I focus on these like subtle details. Anyway, I can pull up your gameplay thing. Here we go. Right, that, that's uh, seven for, for later. Yeah, actual layout thing. Okay. Well, I look forward to seeing that later on. Um, okay, yeah, we got a lot of like lava and stuff. These 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 will kind of rise. Uh, let's go through the whole thing. So I kind of I kind of want it to get more and more colorful as it goes, I guess. Like here, it's just got these touches. And here we got the rising lava. Yeah, again, I'm not entirely sure on the design, but now this is going to have even more kind of color. Especially, you'll see the kind of flushing of the background at, at points. And then we're going to go all out for the drop with just like lots of kind of like color changes so that's kind of that let's uh okay one thing i wanted to do as well before i forget is after play testing that i noticed that i don't like how this spike gets obscured i'm actually gonna take this uh that i wanted and maybe like move it over I don't want it to obscure too much. It kind of gets in the way of the orb there. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you like it. Um, I've been playing GD for uh, seven or eight years. Seven, I want to say. Um, actually, maybe it is. Maybe it is eight this year, which is pretty crazy. I think I started when uh, one point seven was out. So, oh, one point four. That is, you're even more OG than me. I have to say. Yeah, I think it. I think it's like eight years, kind of just just turning, you know. Um, so yeah, it was 1.7, I think, was on the slide. Yeah, this kind of gets in the way. Where, like, where do I want to put it? I think maybe, like, just here where it was. Yeah, okay, that's not so bad. Yeah, it doesn't really get much in the way, though. Okay, anyway, what I wanted to focus on was... Maybe look at doing some stuff in the drop with the color. So I started with this sort of like basic block outline. And I want it to obviously keep the fiery theme, but then it's these ones, right? That like 
these can all be like flashing colors for some reason. I've been making impossible levels for over eight years and zero of them are good. Well, impossible. What do you mean by impossible levels? Like just crazy challenges or? Right, I don't really know how I want to do this. I probably want um, layers with this being copied from the previous one, but blending. And then like, whoa. Something like this. And then it's going to be like changing colors a lot. So I don't know, pulse triggers maybe? Far harder than the current top one at the time, though. Wow. Yeah, it's, like I've never gotten into kind of extremes and those kind of crazy things because, well, I'm, I'm not that good enough at the moment. Um, but it is interesting to me. Wow, that is pretty difficult. Hold on, step, step in circles. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, throw the music back on. Boston didn't build. So, the thing here is like, okay, I want to pulse it in some way. Uh, but do I just want to do like a hue change or? Because like, what I can theoretically do is that. And then it like, changes. But do I want that or do I want like a huge change that's kind of more drastic? Uh, like something like that. Yeah, okay, that looks a bit better. I do think I want the background to be more red though. And darker. Yeah, okay. So that kind of like gives it a cool changing color effect, I guess. Hey, welcome. Yeah, we're, uh, we will be doing level requests. Uh, don't you worry about that. Um, first of all, I'm going to be working on a level that I'm building. And then about halfway into the stream, I will switch it up and do some level requests. Yeah, um, but hope you uh, are having a good day. I'm doing a themed level here. It's kind of like lavery style, so if you think finger dash type, but um, definitely more kind of stylized and some moving backgrounds and stuff. So, I want to get like an idea for these blocks to like Could go with the uh go with these actually. Let's like see how how I feel about that. How do I want this as well? Okay, that looks alright for now. I'll copy the values.
Cool. Okay. So, like, how does this sort of a, a thing feel? Also, what have I done here? That needs to be lower. Cool. Okay. So it's B2, and this is and B1. So that's that works. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I like this as a, a filler block, like... I don't know if you guys have any thoughts on that. I will add more details, of course, like... Let's go here and do, like, this sort of a thing. What do I have as a good... Again, that needs to be higher. So here we go, that like adds some some glow, but you know, I'm I'm not entirely sure of if I want this block or do I want something else. So I think two and three I will change here as well. Uh, okay, so one of my changing two is supposed to be quite light, and three is supposed to be darker. So like, how dark do I want it? So I feel like that sort of works, but it's a bit boring in terms of like what I'm actually doing inside the block. But we can add these glow. I like having the glow there. The other thing that I could try is... Uh, I always like doing this as extra little detail. Is to put uh, I think I just yeah, I just want a plain white object like that. But like this. Okay. Is there no... I don't know why they, they don't do, like, these half blocks, because they do them with the kind of small lines. And they have the thicker line as, like, a box that's small. But they don't have the shorter thick lines, so... Kind of interesting. But I can just do that, actually. And then... Uh, I have to move that down like that. But, you know, something like that. Mm. Maybe not with, uh, maybe not with white, though. What if I did it the, color, the same colour? And actually got rid of these ones. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting to me. It adds something, but I don't know if it's, like, the right thing. Unless I do this as black, and this outline is actually white. Yeah, I definitely don't think that works. Okay. Well, never mind. This is the design process being kind of slow, I guess. I definitely like the flash of these objects here. So I'm going to continue that on all of the blocks. 
it should be like this sort of a thing. Have me stir a couple times. Cool, okay. So what I definitely want to do is I think you guys will agree that a block like this looks a lot more interesting than a block just like this. That's like this is just kind of a square shape, right? But this is a it has these bits jutting out. So I definitely want to repeat that at various points. So it's kind of like, look at this. So like one here and here, perhaps. Uh, I'll do one there and on the other side of that one. And so the way I've got this is that it's actually just another one of these blocks. And the reason I do that is instead of something like this, you can see how it looks different. Is that it's actually this line does not match up with it. Like it's on a different edge of a block. It's not like this. It's like this. So it doesn't line up properly. And I don't want to do it like that. Because then you get this thick black line here. So I'm actually doing it with these three different objects. And that makes it line up a bit nicer. So nice little, nice little trick there. Um, if you didn't know about that. I definitely want to do the same sort of thing up here, but I think I can easily kind of use the same formation as this one. But maybe in a different form. Which way do I prefer? Like that or like... I'll go like that. Like, and again here, I think I could do something like that. And honestly, this one, I will just leave as a kind of square shape. Because you don't want to do every single one like this. It, it does potentially make it repetitive. Um, so let's fill in these other objects here. Awesome. It does confuse me um, when they stick out of the bounds of objects like here. But I think if I go into playtest it's not really noticeable. Yeah, you can't see it at all. Um, I do need to make that not pain. Cool, I like it. Um, yeah, again, is there any sort of overlay that I could put on this to make it a bit more interesting? What if I used like a... I guess I can test it on lots of different blocks now compare them. But like, say I did something like this. How do these match up? Like that. Yeah, like that. Okay, awesome. 
Did I do this sort of a thing? Actually, what if I made it like that? And then the the rocks themselves, how do they actually work? They're like, ah, okay, I see. And again, three and two. I'll do it on a new layer as well. Does that fit? That does fit. That's how that works. It does stick out a bit from the object. Okay, that looks quite bad, I gotta be honest. But it's just a potential design. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it more. The other idea is, like, we make it even more lava -y. Like, that looks kind of more interesting. Do you think? I'm not too sure. Oh, I just pasted the color. That's what I wanted. Definitely uh, adds a lavery look to it. But no, I think what I want is probably some form of different block design, and then this. And you can do the kind of create edges. And then this can just be like background objects. So it's hard to know these. Like these kind of look weird together, I guess, but it's not a big deal. Anyway, you know, you know what? Let's get rid of the uh, the edges for now. Uh, it would be something like this, right? Uh, let's just fill it in. And you'll see where I'm going with this. It is if I, like, grab bits and kind of remove them. Actually, I'm keep those bits up there. And, like, take away bits from the middle like that. Okay, so if I now add edges and take them away from the sides that I don't need them. Oh, why did I take them away from the side? That's a good question. Why did I do that? Uh, it's the ones that kind of follow the interior of the block, so it's here. Yeah, and here. Yeah, so this is like a cool, like, little background sort of bit, as opposed to the actual block design. And then you can go ahead and do something cool, like, if I find the correct animation bit. So I can go ahead and throw this like behind it. That is not what I wanted. There we go. So kind of like, you've got lava flowing behind. So I like that as an idea, but I think we'll come back to it. Um, also, do not need the up in there. Let's move this to a much further layer. We'll come back to it.
in terms of block design. Let's see. We've got some bricks. We've got these. Like, I could overlay these on top of another design. Uh, what if I, like, filled it with something else? Like, these sort of bricks, or, you know, there's these objects, like... I don't know if I've ever really looked at these, but they kind of fit inside there nicely. Uh, I mean, you can kind of see... Um, idea of what that could look like. Uh, also, I do not want to be on layer 7, because that's where I just put the thing. So, you know, what about having these uh, bricks? Like so. Bricks kind of work. They would definitely have to be different colour to this background bit. This can be a completely new set of colours, I think. Or like 8 and 7. We'll fiddle around with what we want these to be as well. So 8, 7, Let's make all those much shorter. Now the thing here is that I could like desaturate it a bit. And then does that make it for more background? I can always do it like this. So. That definitely make, makes it uh, more of a background thing. If I uh, make it darker like that. As for this, I don't know exactly what I want. So, I did say I could have something like this. Overlaying it. I think this would have to be like a what's lighter here? Six. Yeah, maybe a blending actually is better. This does not work. But you know, maybe that works. So should we do a five and a six as well? Interesting. So the base here is five, right? Okay. So we don't want it too light, actually. There we go.
So yeah, maybe it's like that. But again, I don't know if I like that sort of idea. What were the other blocks that I was thinking of? Something like this. And again, it can be like a... Like that. I still want to try something like this. But that just doesn't look good. <laughs> it just really doesn't. I know the bricks are better for sure than that. But there's definitely other things I can try. about these bricks. Well, for a start, it would need some sort of glow. Hmm, that's not too big of a difference. The difference mainly lies in the fact that you've got, like, this colour here, 6. Well, and that's also what I'm using for the thing right now, but I can change that. I can change the glow as well to not be focused on the colour 6. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm not fully sure on what I want to do. And both of these are very, like, empty designs as well. Uh, I think I'm enjoying this one a little bit more, but that's just because the block is more detailed. Um, in terms of detailed blocks, we still have these sorts of a thing. So, you know, there's these, like, Blank type blocks. Gonna run like that. That's not too bad. I could do a sort of uh, seven and eight thing. Now it's solid. So something like that. The other idea would be. So let's move that down. Be like, right, that's one idea. Something like this is the other idea. And again, we try it with a 5 and a 6. It's quite bright like that. This could be interesting. If I did something kind of crazy, like oh, um, yeah, wrong one. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look good. Okay, like that's 
kind of fine. But I don't want all the designs to just be like one block that is just like fills the, the thing. Like, I guess this kind of is. Um, but it's also got the backgrounds to like make up for that. Um, and I like this block a lot more than all the others. Like, out of all of this style of block that I'm working with, uh, it's like these four, which are certainly my favorite. So again, I could redo that. And do like this. Um, maybe even make that like that. And like, I like the design, but it doesn't f maybe fit as well. I'm actually kind of liking what I'm doing with this one. But there's also these blocks. Which I could like fill out. What's the difference? Like, there are, okay, there are different blocks. Hmm. This one is sort of like, oh, you can grab like pieces like that, say. Copy the values and then just go like. Place some stuff in there. Yeah, that sort of thing. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Thank you very much for the follow. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know, this wooden design isn't working for me, so. Yo, and hello as well to uh, Balanchi as well. And, uh, Posta, did I just call you Posta? <laughs> that makes it a bit easier. Well, let me know if uh, you want me to change that. So right now, I'm just looking at uh, putting together some block designs for my level. Um, and then after that, uh, I'm going to be moving on to level requests. So I'll let you know when I do that. Um, but yeah, I'm just working on a level. I, I still don't like this, but... Uh, in terms of how good of a player am I? Well, uh, I recently beat the uh, ultimate demon mix uh, and aside from that my other kind of biggest achievement would be um, uh, supersonic so those are the two insane demons that I've beat um, I haven't done any extremes or anything uh, I've beaten two insanes and those are them but, you know, generally I don't do any super hard levels. <laughs> 30 easy demons and one medium demon. That's pretty good. It's a pretty fair amount, I have to say. It's good. Yeah, this is really throwing me off of what to do for this part. I really don't know. I'm trying all sorts of blocks and seeing what I like. And there's these like weird crater blocks. Uh, no, I actually want to choose Peter. These these are kind of ugly. <laughs> I gotta be honest. 
Caralho, velho. Uh, have I played Mountain King? Uh, I think I've played it. I haven't beaten it. Um, I probably could. Uh, if I put the time in, but um, I just haven't, haven't really tried. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sure it is cool. Um, I should give it a try at some point. Okay, well, since I am so indecisive about these block designs, I will maybe start with just like pulling out those extra little bits. So, you know, we can have uh, things here. Actually, okay, well, first of all, I want to do it on a different layout because then I can easily select them all. So, you know, let's throw them on six. Uh, okay, so I just had an idea. I could change this. Can I play a practice in this level? I'll show you. I'll show you what it's uh, looking like so far. Um, I can I can kind of go from the beginning. So this is the first little section that I've got with um, some nice kind of backgrounds going. Kind of sets up the, the theme with the lava and stuff. And there's going to be fireballs and rising lava and whatnot uh, in here. So yeah, that's kind of like what we're doing right now, is getting this part with the, the colours. Um, I have to say, I'm liking this part a lot more than I'm liking uh, this part right now. Gameplay? Oh, damn, thank you. I, I, was, I was pretty pleased with that. I worked hard on it. Uh, uh, last week. Um, it's definitely a, a strong point that I wanted to get very solid gameplay before I start on this design. Yeah, I don't know about this being coloured, but I do. I could do over it. Whoa. Like that. Hmm. I recommend trying touch triggers as teleporters. Could be fun. Uh, interesting. I. Are you talking about these? Because. I do not have much experience with them, if I'm being completely honest. Also, let's just change that to... I mean, I guess... I don't know. Oh, Toggle. Okay. Interesting. How would I set that up with, like, teleportate? Like... Like using the uh have I? Like using these as well. Oh do, 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 do. this one, yes. The the square orbs, of course. Um I could throw them in somewhere. I don't know. Um, there, there's potentially some gameplay that I'm not, that I don't have. 
I've got rising lava here. Oh, it's glowy. The only gameplay that I haven't kind of like filled out is uh like ship parts, I guess. Hey, abs. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Glad that you could uh, catch the stream for the first time. Uh, yes, these orbs are pretty cool and activate to spawn a teleporter. Could do. Or just to make, like, things move out the way. Uh, do I have CP? Yeah, I have 16 CP as of right now. Yeah, so I know how this works. We can activate the group and you can activate objects or you can, uh, you can, you can use them as spawn triggers as well. So, you know, I could, I could have something like you click this as a, it moves things out of the way. Also, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, my GD username is the same as my Twitch username, it's just KJBS1000. Um, I might also use this for coins, because another thing is... I don't have coins in this level. So, you know, I could... Let's throw this, uh, stop switching back. You know, what if I, like, had one, like, here, and it just does something to unlock a coin, you know, something like that as well, works well, um, like it can change gameplay later on. Let's leave that there as a little kind of indicator that I'll, I'll come back to, for sure. I do like that idea, so yeah, thanks for the suggestion. Um, yeah, otherwise, I don't entirely know what I want to do for this section. Um, definitely fireballs are cool, like rotating, maybe. Fireballs are in here, right? Like these. Can I get these, like, coloured? Like, how does that look? Like, this could be really cool if I had coloured fireballs kind of, like, spin, spinning around. Yes, I have 16 creative points. Um, so I think that works up to uh, one starred level, what one epic level, and that's four. So uh, six featureds? If, I do, if I've done the, the maths correctly on that. One star, six features, one epic, I believe. Um, but that was quite a while ago. Um, anyway, like, can I do... Let's make these, like, mildly bigger. So there we go. Music is back. Yeah, so it's like I could have stuff like this kind of like going around, you know. And I definitely think it works well with the colors. Use a coin grinding for the sh dragon ship. Oh, what? Uh, which which one is that again? I actually have to go check because I'm too curious now. It's not in there, is it? It's all this stuff. Also, <laughs> this one is wacky with the texture pack I'm using. <laughs> Uh, uh, where are user coins? It might be changed in my texture pack, to be honest. Yeah, 
Yeah, it might well be. It's 180 user coins. Okay. Yeah, the, the kind of like shooting star one. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I I somehow have a ton of user coins, so... <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's not talk about how much I play this game. Because it's probably too much. It is a pretty cool ship. Okay, so in terms of gameplay... Oh, yeah, okay. Definitely with this arc, you could have... I need to put this on a different layer, but... You could have you go over some sort of, like, spinning thing here. So that's cool. So let's put this on a layer. We'll do 10. So it's out of the way. And then... That's probably enough. And if... Yeah, okay, so if this is solid... Then, um... They'll actually go behind the objects, which is quite nice. Because then it, you don't get this, like, eclipse through here. Um, so let's just put that there as a kind of, like, just for the time being. The other thing is, if I did want to do, say, like this, and that it goes through, then because I'm using this solid background, there's a lovely little trick that I can do where let's put this on B1. That's fine. I can actually get this and make it the same as the background. So this is set to background color. So you'll see it's like indistinguishable here from the regular background. And then if I put that on B2 and like layer it behind it covers up the uh the fireball but it doesn't cover up the object here so even though normally this fireball would show up over it it actually doesn't so there's a neat little trick uh if you guys didn't know about that Playing some my levels, you like Rift? I'm pretty pleased with Rift as well. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Um, it's it's probably one of the ones that I spent the least amount of time on as well. Uh, somehow, but um, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, only real problem I think with it, I would say, is like the end bit. Uh, there's a lot of moving objects, and it's maybe hard to see. But you can uh, disable that. There's a little. Thing at the at the beginning, I think you get the collectible. So um, you know, it it's it is what it is. Um, but for this, I don't know if I want it rotating around like a specific object or just like an invisible point. But let's just go with a point for now. So I normally go with these objects. I don't know why this is my go-to object, but I'll make it invisible. Um, number one is my invisible group. 26. Select all these. 27. Rotate. 27 goes around 26. 
Let's put it uh, on pieces another time. Yeah, okay. Something like that. Hey, welcome. Uh, welcome, Naxon. Hope that's right. Uh, yeah, Rick, don't you worry about that. Requests will be uh, quite shortly, actually. Uh, already been going nearly an hour, so I'll move on to it uh, in not too long. But yeah, thank you very much for the follow as well. Oh, I forgot these pulse as well. That's kind of cool. Maybe I'll move it down slightly. Okay. This is actually interesting. Um, I just kind of like notice this is if you click this particularly late, you'll actually get up and then die on, you know, spikes that might be up here. So like, how close could I put this? Yeah, that maybe makes it a bit harder. Because if you click it too late, you're like that, but if you click it right, then it will activate. Um, just as a test, you know, we could do a group idea of 28, activate it. 28 is normally deactivated, though. And we'll just do a little thing. To say, like... Uh... Activated. 28. So if we see the word activated, we'll know it's been activated. So there, I didn't see it. But here... There you go. So we saw it. Cool. Oh, the song is uh, Medusa by F777. Or F triple seven, whichever way you want to say. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so twenty eight will be the group that gets activated by this orb, and uh, we'll actually also make it maybe a bit. Hmm. No, the other way is better, but uh, the brightness should be up a bit on it. Something like that. So it's a little bit... Mm, actually, I don't know. Maybe black. Or is it because it's got, like, glow on it? Does that affect it? I don't think it does. Cool, yeah. And um, this moving is kind of alright. So, you know. That works. Uh, it's still bugging me that this uh, this block design, but you know, we can come back to it. It's a good sort of start, and I work on it in my own time, I guess. Um, yeah, they're definitely really cool. Um, so I'll I'll look into. Changing up the block design and stuff. Um, but you know, for now... Actually, let's go back to the start. For now, let's just kind of like fill in this. And then I'll move on to the requests. So... Uh, where are we at with like kind of final bit? So we need a bit more down here, and then this layer. 
can be filled in more like on this side. So really it's just a matter of copying some designs that we've already got and filling them out. As long as they're not too similar. See, uh, here we've actually got a copy. You can see it's like the exact same. So I actually don't want to use that because it will maybe be a bit too obvious. But, you know, maybe I could do a different... This is a bit of a spikier design that we've got going on. No points. Uh, if you are you talking about channel points? Um, because yeah, if so, yes, you need to be an affiliate to use channel points, and I'm not there yet, but I will work towards it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you need to stream. You have to have certain requirements for your stream. Um. Uh. I just opened Twitch and see inside playing. There we go. Let me see if I can check it. Um, it will be on my dashboard somewhere. It's an achievements thing. So, uh, what you need is. So you need to stream for eight hours within a 30 day period, which I'm on my way to, of course, because I've been doing uh, I've been doing streams weekly stream on seven different days. So I'm actually going to have to do streams more than once a week in certain cases, which I will be able to do. Um, and then have an average of three viewers and those are the free requirements uh you also have to reach 50 followers but i've done that uh already um but yeah once you've reached 50 followers it's within a 30 day period you have to have eight hours of stream on seven different days and an average of three viewers um which isn't too big of a requirement um and after that i'll have all those sort of perks like being able to uh Use channel points and all that. Cool, thank you for the request. I will get to it later on. Right. I definitely need to fill out here as well, so... Maybe like a big piece like this. I haven't used this sort of bit of that it goes right up. So like that. Let's just have a little look. Oh, that's good. That like fills out the the whole of the screen. I think. Yeah, it does. Kind of just about. Okay. Maybe a bit more on the layer behind it. So it's this layer. Yeah. So. I don't think I've used this sort of a bit very often. Oh, no, maybe I have. Oh, I literally just used it. <laughs> it's literally the same piece. Um. So, what about this sort of a idea for a design? With this little pointy bit. I'm actually get rid of this. So 
says that. Okay, so that definitely kind of peels on for longer than it needs to. But also, you know, why just have that when I could have a have one of these bits? I love throwing in these bits that go all the way from the, the bottom to the top. And I could definitely throw it in here, sort of. I kind of get rid of all this stuff. We need that. And kind of connect it up to that somehow. Like right there. Yeah, awesome. Hi, welcome. Welcome, a dumb guy M. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Cool. Let's fill this in. Actually, this makes it more optimized. Which is always good to just fill in with these scaled up objects so it uses less. It's already using a fair amount of objects, mainly from this, which I'm not the most pleased with, I guess, but you know. Okay, so that's cool. And then you got, you can see that quite nicely actually. Yeah. Okay, cool. Really the last thing I want to do is focus on the foreground bits which are kind of solid black color uh and then i'll then i'll kind of move on from, from uh, building with them so how do i want to fill this out i have a lot of like it's a bit more broken up, I guess you can say. This is like all connected. Whereas on the this layer, you can see like this part is kind of separated from this part. That's just because I don't want too much of these objects to like obscure the, the gameplay. So, you know, something like this part. And grab and put it over here. I don't think that's really a copy of uh, other parts, so it's not going to look too repetitive. Get rid of that. Yeah, okay. And I don't want to obscure this lava either too much. Because um, it's some nice detail. But, uh... Sometimes it might do that. It's so, like there's this kind of... structure here. It really hangs down, which is quite cool. Actually, I should we use that just as a So this now becomes like a big hanging 
object in the foreground. Which might be quite nice. As long as it doesn't get in the way of too much. It does kind of get in the way of the lava there, but if I had it, say, here, I think that's a lot less of a problem, because you can still see the lava. It also kind of works with it. It looks like you go over it with this orb. It looks like you're kind of like hopping, even though it doesn't actually kill you or anything like that. Um, but yeah. Grab a small group of objects. I'm just gonna throw in here. And then there's something else to kind of fill that out. Actually, I don't want to take that. I'll take a piece sort of like this. we don't need. Cool. Is there any bits that are missing? Maybe a bit like here. Let's just fill that in before we finish up for this building session. Uh, yeah, I guess we can take this part and reuse it. So, we are deleting these bits. Something like that. And then we go for a spiky bit at the very edge. Yeah, sure. Oh wait, this is uh, way below the... the ground. Something like that. And the same goes for the bottom then. So, what if we grab one of the spikes? This big pointy bit. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah, we still have all of the rest of it going forward, but also the background is good. The foreground kind of stops after a point. Yeah, it kind of stops after about that point, but the background keeps going, which is good. I'm happy with the background. And it will go into the ship, so... Okay. I would say that's pretty good as a place to kind of call it. Um, sure. Hi, another first time chatter. Uh, from Shoot. Welcome. So, we've just finished up we have a nice little building session. Um, 
I don't know. It didn't make too much progress, but uh, we got some good ideas going. So definitely things for me to work on. Um, I guess from here on out, we will move into the... Yeah, let, do you want me to hop in and show you what I'm building so far? And then we'll move on to, uh, to level requests. Um, yeah, I'm not going to upload it yet. Um, so unfortunately, you won't be able to play it yourself. But I will show you what it looks like so far. So yeah, big uh, kind of volcanic theme going on, but also going to add a lot of uh, splashes of colour. Oh, I kind of just missed the thing there, but you know. No! <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that's, that's the main bit that I've been working on. Um, not really on stream all of it. I've done a lot of this off stream, but today I was playing around with getting some things here. Now, I'm not a big fan of the design that I've got going on, but, you know, we got some uh, colour pulses going on, so you can kind of have a look. Yeah, so I'm glad you like the, the decorated part. Parallax in the far back seems too weak, should be more significant from the middle background. Okay, an interesting suggestion. I will take a look at that real quick then. Um, yeah, this is just a sort of basic idea. Um, these blocks I'm not fully on board with what I'm going to use here, like in place of these kind of wooden panel parts. Um, but I do like the colour on the kind of tops that kind of like changes very rapidly so anyway let's take a look real quick then before i change the stream name and everything products in the far back seems to be okay so let's say i changed it i think it's seven in the far back that's right. So yeah, this is 820 and this is only 880. So let's put it up to say like 980 and see how much of a change it makes. Maybe that's too much. Maybe that's a little bit too much. So let's just go like very low 900. Something like that, potentially. Can you think 940? Let's try 940. Actually, that is pretty good. Okay, yeah. My one worry was that it would get in the way of the slopes, but it doesn't actually. So I actually quite like that. Yeah, okay, cool. You Thank you for the help with that. Uh, you kind of see it potentially like. Also, oh, thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, watch this, if I, uh... Turn this off. You can see it as it goes behind this because it's uh, it uses some b blocks to kind of like fill out. The problem I had is that these blocks don't have a slope form, which is very annoying. <laughs> um, but I can use these objects and then just since the background's a solid color, I kind of like have that to 
fill out over the top of it. So it actually makes it work. But of course, because that has to be, these objects have to be higher than the block design here. But the block design has to be higher than the background, because otherwise the background is going to be actually the foreground. Uh, it creates this weird kind of situation where I can't have these bits go over it. At least not visible to the player. Uh, but luckily I think there's not really an issue there. Where there are none of these large bits that go over. So yeah, that works. Thank you again. Uh, Kirksey. Um, welcome, welcome. Okay, let me let me edit this. We are moving on to level requests. Uh, yeah, it's not finished yet, but I'm glad you like it. Um, yes. Right, let's edit the info real quick. Okay, we'll do level request for the uh, next, however long, I don't know. We'll see how we go. Okay, so there's a few people that were waiting from earlier. Who's still here? Um, Cause I have a gameplay thing from earlier. Okay, one more. Yeah, okay, let's start with uh, the digital serial. It's then uh, a level just earlier. Oh, awesome! We got a featured level. Cool, okay. Let's check this out. Uh, my hardest, by the way, is Supersonic. Um, between two insane demons, that being Supersonic and Ultimate Demon Mix, if you're wondering. Okay, gameplay focus level. Awesome, I'm liking this so far. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely quite fun. Robot glitch part, wait, what is that? Mandatory in 2.2? I mean, I guess I'll... F okay. I guess I won't worry about that for now. Because I'm going to assume that I'm not going to get the glitch. Uh, as long as it's not a Hertz thing, then hopefully it'll be fine. Your gameplay's actually great. Oh, that's a coin thing, huh? Yeah, but it's Hardin Temple of Time. Okay, interesting. I haven't played that one. Uh, do I want to be a mod? Mm, sure, I guess I'd like that, but it feels like a lot of responsibility and, like, I don't want to be too pestered by people, <laughs> I guess. Actually, hold on, what am I doing? Um, since we're now playing levels, I can probably put on face cam. Yo! Awesome. Yeah, I turn it off when I'm doing building, but... Uh, just so you can kind of see more, but... There we go. Cool. Yeah, this is a fun level, I'm actually enjoying it a lot. Um, okay. UFO gameplay is often quite fun in demons, I find. Um, or in easy demons, at least. Where it's not really, like, too difficult timing, but there's some interesting use of portals and orbs and things like that. So here, there's definitely... I'm feeling that. I'm not gonna. 
Oh, okay, you do actually need to hit that. I thought it might have just been a coin route. I do see a key up there, though, as well. But I just haven't been getting it. Just hold it. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. Of course I'm holding it, because it will flip me upside down and I need to hold to go into the portal. It's kind of a weird setup, but it makes sense to me now. Oh, still hold it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really like the text in that point. I also want to see what this coin does. Oh, this key probably gets me a coin later. Yeah, I really like that text, just being like, hold it, still hold it. Very clever. Awesome. Hold. Oh! Boom! Oh! No! Ah, God. That was, that was really fun. Um, cool. Uh, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to throw it in my folder of levels I want to beat, because it is an easy demon. So, um, yeah, that is a lot of requests. I will have to get through them. But, uh, yeah, I do really like that. Um, so, I'll maybe come back to it and beat it at some point. Maybe even at the end uh, today, if we have time. But, yeah, really cool level. Uh, Moz, hello! I'm good. I hope you're doing well. Uh, which one uh, do we have? We have one from earlier. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sync Madness Expert, or uh, I don't know if I'm, I'm an expert. But... Let's see. Oh! Oh my. I did something. Hold on. Okay. What do you mean, like... But don't you have to hit the, the orbs every time, right? Oh! Okay. I'm gonna have to practice just for that part. Because... I can get those orbs at the start. Oh. No, okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Also, yo, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, yeah, feel free to send ch challenges. I don't know how good I'll be at them, but, uh, <laughs> you know. Oh, I just did something. Wait, can you, like... Oh, I cheesed it. Okay, so I think what you're supposed to do is, like, tap each one of those like that. But what I actually did was skip the green. So, there you go. I've I found the little, uh... I found a little, maybe, bug or way to kind of, kind of cheese that. Yo, what is the dog doing? Good question. Okay. Oh, this part is tough. You get some weird momentum off that blue orb, I feel like. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is real tough. I'll give it a little go in, uh, in normal afterwards, but I don't think I'm going to beat it. Or at least I'm not willing to spend, like, too long, because there are other requests that come in. But, 
It's kind of fun. That part is mean. It really gets you. You have to do that extra little jump. Ooh. I'm not that great with like robot sections. Oh. Yeah, this this is definitely a weakness of mine is robot. So maybe it is good to practice. I just want to. I just want to get through it. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that that checkpoint is not going to work because it's going to. have the mega hack um so um yo we got views coming in okay like, uh, i'm just gonna give it i i want to get to where i did in practice in in a uh, normal if i can i wouldn't gonna spend too long on it but you know if i kind of get like past that ufo part i'll be happy Or at least, you know, up to the UFO part. <laughs> How did I miss that? Oh. Well, I mean, okay, I did that. <laughs> uh, I like it though. I like it. I give it a like. That's good. Yeah, uh, I should maybe look into Mega Hack. Um, I just never have <laughs> been bothered to, to get it, I guess. Um, but I know you can do some good stuff. No, I know a lot of people use it. Um, Okay, cool. Yeah, I know. I know a lot of uh, a lot of people use the mega hack, and it gives you um, like it can let you see hitboxes, it can give you no clip, it can do all sorts of stuff. Um, so it's definitely useful, um, especially for building levels and playtesting and all that stuff. Uh, but anyway, all right, I can't. I can't like scroll all the way here, but like, what if we uh, we got a level level from someone that didn't that hasn't already seen it? We had one earlier from White Sonic. Um, I want to try and uh, give get through uh, different people's levels before I do multiple levels from single people. If that kind of makes sense. So, okay, we got a challenge here. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. That one's a GG right there. Cool. Uh, who else one earlier? Uh... We have one from Cayenne, I think. It's the next one that I see that we haven't played a level of. I will give it five attempts. <laughs> and I will, I can guarantee you, I will get no more than 1%. Oh, what do you even do? I got 2%! I 
I gave it five attempts. Okay, there you go. That's my that's my second open circles gameplay right there. Two percent. Two percent. Impressive. Uh da -da -da. Yo, okay, let's do this one. Two percent pog. Uh, if you guys don't know, um, you can get extensions for uh, for Twitch um, if you're in browser or whatever. So you can use some cool things like like basically like pog. No. <laughs> that might not show up for you if you don't have the thing installed. But look on the look on the screen. You've got. No pack man. I love it. Um, you can download some extensions to do that. Okay, interesting. Um, I'm sure I can find the download link. Uh, later on. Yo, we got a search. <laughs> Um, but okay. Then I need it. Yo! Thank you for the follow. That is a lot of consonants in one go. <laughs> I don't actually have cake W. But uh, if you want things to. You need to add it. Anyway. Uh, who, who do we have a level from? Oh, I haven't done so. Recent time. Okay, so. Oh, an animation? Huh. Recent tab. Okay. Ah! Uh. <laughs> no clipper. Oh no, guys have been exposed. <laughs> Just got exposed. Has no clipper. Nice little animation. Oh no. Magma Swag. Oh, okay. This is like a lava temple. Can I make it through that? Or do I have to like... I think that's right. I assume that's the, the way you're supposed to go with that. Oh yeah, you can speed hack with the, the mega hack as well. It's interesting. Oh, well, I, I think I hit the, the pad, but I don't think it did anything. It just played the little animation. Okay, this is a real tough one. Okay, I'll like, we'll hop it into practice for this, just to see what lies ahead. You know that wasn't too bad as a starting attempt. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so you have to like go straight down there. Ooh. Ooh. Okay.
I, okay, yeah. I had a bit of a weird placement there. For that. Oh, this is... This is really bad. Like, this is really tricky. I, I can't... I'm, I'm really bad. Like, I can't do it. Uh, the checkpoints are just part of uh, the um, texture pack I use. I don't think it's real, like, I don't think it's uh, from anything. Wait, you're having buffering on your stream? Uh, as far as I'm aware, the stream is functioning pretty well. It says, uh, it says the quality is good and no recommended changes, so might be something on your end, I'm afraid, if, uh... Yeah, sorry to say, it, it might be something for you. Uh, I don't know if other people are experiencing that. Let me know if you guys are. There's only like half, one and a half seconds delay. Yeah. Well, I've got low latency on and internet connection seems to be great. So, um, yeah, might be a, a thing here. Um, yeah, this is a... This is... I managed to squeeze through. Yeah, I... If, it, if it's all the same of, of that, I don't think I can, like, spend too much time going on that. Um. But, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna spend too much time on that, because we have other, other levels to play. But, um, definitely very tricky. Too hard for me. Cool, uh, who else sent stuff earlier? Which one did I just play? That one. What level is this? Oh, we got a challenge. Awesome. Yeah, it's obviously possible, but, um, too much for me. Okay, ship challenge. Oh. Okay, straight fly. Down. Oh, it gets faster. I actually didn't didn't expect to get so far. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of panicked. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Yo. Get me on that leaderboard. <laughs> I don't know, I was worried I was going to die. I'm not the best at the straight fly. But, um, there we go. Nice to do it. Another challenge? Holy mate, that's fine. Ch challenges don't need to be... As long as the gameplay works, you know, it's that's all a challenge is supposed to be. Whoa, okay. Is this okay, challenge. It's just a challenge. 
which actually feels like not like too bad a layout. Okay, now this is much more of a challenge than layout. What of what does that mean? What happened? Where where, where do I go? That was going so well. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I don't get what what is supposed to happen. What are, am I just not getting it? What is I don't think that's right. Is it? Is that it? <laughs> Are you just not supposed to follow the level as it looks? You just go up the top? Am I, like, cheesing it again? Um, is that not the intended way? Do I just do that? I mean, GG. It worked. Yeah, it's it's a, some sort of bug or or cheese way, for sure. But I, I don't know what you're supposed to do because when you go in the uh, the jewel portal, it like you just fall straight into the spikes. So I'm kind of confused by it, but uh, yeah, GG I guess. Okay. Um... Another one here. Oh, a wave challenge. A wave challenge. I have to say, ship is probably my best challenge, right? Based on what I just did uh, with the previous ones that I did. I don't know if wave challenges are. Wave challenges are not my strong suit. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to struggle with this one, guys. I'm already going to struggle with this. Oh, God. Okay. And I'm practicing so I can skip the intro. Yo, Nay Law, thank you for following. <laughs> I, I suck, man. I, I can't. Yo! Oh. I don't care anymore, just get me through it, just get me through it. Just place a checkpoint. Wait, you can... Wait, there's spikes up there. How the hell do you... Can 
Korea hit the spikes. I mean, it's possible, but it's like insanely difficult, right? Oh my, okay. <laughs> okay. I kind of like had a little run down there. Where I don't just die like two seconds. Yeah. This bit's a bit easier. Okay. I can do this part, surely. I'll oh, just get me through this part and I'll be happy. There we go. Oh, that's the end anyway. Yeah. Oh, that's half man. I can't do it. Oh, I'm sorry. So. Falling down. This is a challenge. Got it. I am falling down. Oh, okay. Hey, Vexy, thank you very much for the follow. Oh, God. Huh. Oh, okay. Wait, I feel like I'm not supposed to be hitting that. I guess it needs to be there, but it's a bit annoying to like hit it, even though you've clicked. I didn't get it. Wait, hold on, just to, just so I can see this. Are there orbs overlaid on top of each other there? Is that related to why I'm not like falling? Yeah, look, I just jumped up. What? How are you supposed to get that? Or do you just not click? Oh. Oh, it's a pad! I get it, okay. Ooh. Okay, so then you do like a weird... Kind of like... Oh wait, I actually don't know how I got it. Like that. Well, I fucked it. That's crazy. Ooh. Ooh. 
Can I not just can I not just like spam like Is that theoretically possible? Yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it though. Oh, it, it gets so tricky. Ooh. Wait, so what's stopping me from potentially going down that way? What was that? I didn't even get the... I didn't even become a ship. Do you guys know about this? If you don't hold, you like boop up in on the on that into there. But if you do hold, you like go through it normally. You go like straight through it. Is that actually a weird gameplay bug, or is that a, or is that a touch trigger thing? I don't. It might well be a bug. That's some weird like mechanics. That is really weird. Also, I'm like messed up here. Okay, I feel like I spent a lot of time on that. Um, yeah, again, too tough for me. You saw a couple of levels of that? Interesting. Okay, okay, so let me, uh, let's, let's, there's an updated version of, uh, It's not. This is a new level. Yo, -ho, I got the coin. How am I doing this? How am I doing this? Moving objects. <laughs> How'd I get so far? <laughs> I fluked it so bad. There's also a coin up there. I'm not there. I'm not going for the coin every time. I did it once. I'm I'm happy. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Ah. Oh. This challenge is good. I like this is much more of a challenge for my level, I feel like. These crazy waves and stuff like that is like too much for me. But this is a good like Ah. It's a good like semi hard challenge. So yeah. If you're gonna send challenges, these are the ones that I sort of enjoy the most this sort of level of difficulty. I have to say. I just didn't look.
Ooh. Oh, that's a UFO. Oh, that's going to be tough. UFOs can be tricky. Moving objects really, like, kind of freaked me out. What does the hitbox? I like it, but um, I'm gonna go into practice to do like individual sections, just so I don't have to play through all of it every single time. But that was very cool. So, can we look at the hitboxes here? Like, what is going on? Like... I am inside that saw blade right now. <laughs> yeah. These are, um, are these scale hacked as well, or are they... Are they just like... Is that just how big a times two saw blade is? The, these ones is that is that just how big they are or is that that must be scale hack I feel like okay cool so got that there Ooh. old priming got it. more use of those slightly off hitboxes. It's a late click, late click, ooh. Like that. Awesome, okay, got that. It's 2.5 probably, yeah. It looks a little bit bigger than I'd expect from a scale hack, or for, with, from without scale hacker, I should say. Okay, this is cool. This is fairly chill. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, they get they get a bit harder at the end. That's kinda mean. Right at the end as well. Ooh. That's actually really tough for me. I wonder if you can do enough cheese though. But like go underneath. I'm sure you can do that. I kind of want to try. Oh. I, I'm really curious. Oh, you could also maybe just do like that. I don't know if that's intended. Maybe that is intended to just go like that. Yeah, okay. That feels a bit more natural, so I'm gonna assume that's right. Oh. It's like a pick a pathway. Oh, you can do that, but. Maybe is that possible? This looks just doable. Ooh. 
Yeah, it is. It is doable. Well, that's cool. Okay. Overall, that's a good challenge. I like that one. Right. There we go. We can try an easy one, apparently. Too easy. This is a rated hard. Why'd it flip? Two clicks only. Like, does something happen if I do more than. Ah! Oh. How did I do it then? If you do more than two clicks, that guy comes and punches you. Interesting. How did I do it? It's like. so fast. I can't replicate it, what the hell? Yeah, so that's more than two clicks. How did I do it? Hey, I did it again, okay. Awesome. Yeah, is that touch triggers and stuff? Very cool to make that comment up. To kind of prevent you from being able to just spam to get through. I like it. <laughs> I don't know how I got it so quick. Um, I guess I got lucky, but I did manage to do it again afterwards, so yeah, cool. Good stuff. Bubble Isle. Oh, we got like a sushi level level. I was expecting challenges the whole time, but this is a nice change of pace. Pretty nice. Okay. Is it going to change up a bit? Because I'm liking it, but it could do with more variation other than just... Oh, here we go. That suddenly got very intense. <laughs> it was so peaceful and then I just was thrown into chaos Okay, now what? No! That's a crazy level. What the? That's really cool, actually. Um, very unique as well. Um, I don't know. Do it. I'll give it. I'll give it one more. One more try. 
Um, but I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave it and go to the mines and if, if not this thing. Because I don't want to beat it. I just kind of messed up with timing. Wow, that was such a change of pace. Go from such a kind of calm, peaceful bit. Yeah, the gameplay is a bit repetitive. Um... <laughs> it's madness. It was especially that, that ball part at the intro, I felt was a little bit repetitive. This bit I almost don't even mind. Ah, okay, well, it's actually kind of tough. What did they even request? Three, uh, it's definitely more than that. Uh, I don't know, I think I have five. It's actually kind of tough to find. Okay, well that was pretty crazy. Okay, actually, actually, here we go. Let's go with uh, Spectre first, since uh, I haven't played one of yours yet. Stream jumping back and forth. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I. I don't think anyone else is having issues unfortunately so uh i don't think it's something i can fix on my end um also i just realized why is the widget not like updating not that widget Let's take it. Okay. Channels. That's right. Yeah, this. It just says it doesn't say on colors, it's not. Yo, it fixed itself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for following. Thank you for fixing the, the number on the thing. <laughs> well, I'm glad that that's done. Anyway. Uh, recommend practice. It's kind of hard. Well, let's give it a, a few attempts. Okay, that is actually harder than I expected. Whoa. Oh, I have to hold for the dash or... I don't think that's meant to happen. Ah! That's a bit of a tricky transition. Ooh, that is tough. I'll give it a few more tries, but I might have to happen to practice your right. Ooh. Ah, and you can't go too far up either. Uh, yeah, feel free to send me challenges, even if it's not decorated. Um, whether I'll be very good at them or not is a different matter. Um, yeah, that's... Um, you're welcome to send them, but whether I... 
actually beat them or whatever is kind of down to how difficult I find them. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if you can beat the whole level like that, but if, if you can, I would fix it. And even if, even if there's like something at the end, I would put a, I would put spikes just down to kill you immediately. Because it's not clear whether that's kind of supposed to happen or not. But that's fine. Just, uh, just put some spikes there and it'll be fine. Okay, and then again, it seems like I can just kind of, uh... Skip that orb up there. Whoa! Okay, that is a lot harder than I was expecting. Whoa, okay. I kind of like that gameplay. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. With the jewel. Okay, this could be tough. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna struggle here. Yeah. Ah, it's a coin for the orb? Okay, fair enough. This is... Okay. Yeah, this part's actually way harder than the other parts, it seems. Yeah, now this part is easier again. I'd, I'd say that part's a bit inconsistent. Um, but like the really tight jaw there. Maybe it's just me being bad, but you know. Oof. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, one of these. I like this. Oh. This gameplay is always very interesting. I'm trying to, like, get them as close to each other as possible. That's pretty good. Uh -huh. Quite tough. Hmm. You're gonna knife it later. Yeah, I'd say that part's uh, a bit tricky. This part's kind of giving me problems. It shouldn't be that hard. Melissa, thank you for the follow. Hi. 
Daleks among us sitting here. Let's go there. I've sunk over 150 attempts into this, I'm gonna have to leave it, I think, but yeah, pretty cool. I'll move on. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, we've got a challenge level. There we are. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll do this one, and then we'll move on to... Okay. The timing there is very odd. This has given me some problems, I have to say. Why? Hmm. Got better if, after you turned off the router, that's fine. That's good. I actually just did it and I didn't even realize. Oh, wait. Oh, so can I like have it off timed? Maybe that's how I'm supposed to do it. Hmm. Can they be like slightly? They could be like misaligned in terms of time. I have to put this. Yeah, you can get them asymmetrical so that they're like out of sync. Oh, I can't. There's not much point in me being in. Yeah, I mean, that kind of like. Does it, but it's not like proper. Okay, well, I mean, that for the purposes of viewing the rest of the challenge, that kind of gets us through it. Also, Wait, oh, you can go through the blocks, okay. Okay. Wait, 
Which video game do you think you should follow? Oh, come on, I just need to go down. I just need to go down. Ah. Oh, the black orb is tough to get. No! Wait, I can't even get it. Like, it's not. I can't get it. I get it a few more tries, but it's like really not working. Yo! Okay. Uh. Okay, it's just a little tap. Got that somehow. I'm not a shape. Just get me through it, I don't care. Oh! Okay, we done it. This part is the hardest part for verify. Ah, uh. uh, gee. A uh, themed level. Oh, this is nice. Does that say all orbs have Pl please don't let go all orbs have clever blocks please don't let go what's that what are the clever blocks Are they, are they talking about like the J blocks and all that stuff? Cool level, eh? It's a nice decoration. I don't know how I got so far on like pretty much my first attempt. I think it was my first. Is it? I got halfway through first time around, but um, I don't know. I can't. Oh, look at that! I guess I was lucky.
Yeah, what's going on there? That's a little bit tough. If I say moves move like that spike slightly to the left, it might make it a little bit nicer. Like I don't get there we go. I don't get how I did it the first time and I've like had trouble the second time. But I would just move it over slightly. Cool. Whoa. This is awesome. Cool. I like it. Um yeah, eight. I feel like eight is maybe probably fine. Eight or nine. Probably. One of the two. Cool. Hey, good stuff. And do level oh my god, please. What level is that again? on a level. I don't know if that's what you wanted, but... Okay. Oh, we got a double wave. Are there spikes there? You gotta like time it so that the waves are close together, like as close as they can. Ah! I was gaming. I was gaming so hard right there, but I messed it up. Hi, YouTube next. Welcome. I'm not gonna get that far again, am I? Ah! Okay. You know what I doing. Uh, I get that you can't go on the ground because otherwise they like resync back up. Or that like they'll go together more. But it's so hard to see, man. Yo, oh, thanks for the follow. Liam Doy. That's right. Oh, can I do that? It actually might be like... No, it doesn't. That's like about as close as they can be. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Anyway, um, okay, I'll do... 
the next one actually this will be Alturus was a baseball one. Yeah, um this might be one of the last few but then Yeah, how's my day been? It's been pretty good, thank you. Caught COVID yesterday and it's annoying. Ah, uh, well I hope you get better soon. Um yeah, I had COVID like last year in the summer. So uh hopefully I've kind of got it out of the way. Yeah. Well, I hope you're not gonna have too not too ill from that. Um Yeah, that was a big hard. Yeah, sure, t uh, type the ID. Um, yeah, I'll just take a few more. Um, I've actually been going for quite a while, over two and a half hours of long stream today, but um, yeah, I'll do only a couple more, I think, but yeah, feel free to see my level. Okay. This is cool. Um, I'm just going to change the stream title probably. Um, because I don't want people to join and request levels and then I'm like, oh, I'm finishing the stream though. Um, so like, what do, I, what do I call this? Not too ill, it's just boring sitting around all day. Yeah, sure, of course. Kind of sucks. Um, yeah, gets in the way of plans and just seeing people, so I feel that. Okay. So let's just let's just title it playing levels, and then I'll do I'll put in brackets requests off. So that if people are, if people see the the stream, um, and they haven't joined yet, then they won't join, hoping for me to play it. Um, so let's just get through these last few that are in the chat. Oh, sync is really good. Oh, okay. I don't know why I clicked that. I like it. This one's fun. Especially that UFO sync. Pretty good. Ooh. It's not where it's supposed to go. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to go into practice just so that I can get for a. a um, this is one of my favorites, right? That we've done, I feel like um, it's it's m up much more my kind of challenge, which it's doable. Um, I mean, it's not even just like a challenge. This is 
more so like a, a layout than the other ones. So that's a bit nicer. That's a change. What is going on right now? Oof. I wish I could get the sink. Um, is that something that was in the mega hack as well? That um, you can have normal music during practice. That's like one of the best features I feel like. <laughs> like one of the things I would use the most. So I might have to look. at first as to how this was going to work, but that's cool. We'll speed at the end. Ah. Let's get through this speedy part all in one go. Bypass is more useful, do you think? I haven't really come across any need to change my SPS. I don't know, is it like 144 hertz bugs and stuff? Yeah, awesome, I like that. Okay. Right, so... We got one here. First level, by the way, is this subtle box. Cool, okay. Nice. So it's cool. Wait, what killed me? What? I was having a great time. What does the three mean? Oh, there are spikes. I think I was just unlucky. Cool. Custom portals look pretty nice. This is very different now. Yeah, especially as our first level. That's really good. Definitely a good, uh, a good first level for sure. I think there are bits that can be tidied up, of course, but overall, that's good. I like it. Pain. 
But this is a long level. Why did I think that was going to be faster than it was? No, I missed time that a bit. I actually thought this was gonna be harder, given that the description says pain. I did it again, I did it again. <laughs> no! <laughs> so your name is someone that sucks. I don't do that. Ah, that's... That's annoying, but um... We got a few more. Were there any by... Okay, let's go through... I want different people to get a chance for me to play, so... This part of an hard, insane demon I'm building would like to know if it feels balanced and fun to play. Well, let's have a look. This is cool. This is pretty good, actually. It's definitely difficult. But it... I would say it's overall kind of balanced uh, as of this first 13% that I've got through. That's tough. Okay, well, let's do practice, just because then I don't have to play every... I have to play the same bit every time. I can get through all the sections. Okay, so it's this bit that I really want to get a feel for now, because I didn't get to... Oh, that's interesting. You have to stay above the portals, I guess? Okay, cool.
Okay. Timings, it looks like, on, the, on these orbs. Nope. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Oh my dear. This part's tougher to me, for sure. Uh, I think I'm just better at the ship than these sort of, uh... Timed parts. It's timed... Timed parts that always get me, I feel like. Ooh! Why am I dying, though? Okay, so it's not too, it's not too bad. Oh, the checkpoints suck. Oh, I, I'm glad I put one there though. Hmm. Yeah, timing bits always get me. I liked the ship part for sure. This part, I don't know if it's just me struggling with it or if it's actually harder. That timing is tough. Uh, this specific timing, I feel like. Oh, I got it. Okay, it's just a tight wave section, not too bad. That way, pot's cool. This is tough, though. Oh, there we go. Hmm, okay. Ooh, it is... A bit tricky, uh, definitely, at that point. Oh, that's a nice little jump, but... That black orb is cool. That's just satisfying for some reason. Okay, yeah, overall, I think it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I can give, like, true feedback, because it might just be that I'm better at certain things than others. Um, as a hard or insane demon, I think it definitely fits. I think it's, de it's definitely leaning towards insane, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, pretty good, I would say. I like it. Okay. What have we got? Okay, we've got... Spectra did another one. Okay, so let, let, we'll do this one, and then we'll do one more from... Leandoy. On this effect. May crash? Oh god, I have not. Cool. I can tell it's 
dropping the frame rate a bit, but <laughs> I don't think it's going to crash. Maybe on mobile or something. Cool. Nice. Okay, so I think we will do... The stream's lagging, can't see you play my own level. Oh no. Uh, well, you can go go back and watch the VOD, I guess, if uh, if you don't catch anything. Um, okay, one well, we've got one more, which is apparently a wood. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no worries. So, okay, here's the last one. Calm yet chaotic. Biggest biggest project yet. More coming soon. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Nice work. Well, made it today. Nice work. Cool. Yeah, it was fairly, seemed fairly challenging, um, but it was kind of, um, it was nice enough that it gave me, it gave me room where I needed, so overall pretty good. Right, well, I'm going to conclude the stream there, just about to hit three hours, which is the longest Actually, we've no, we've gone over three hours. It's just I set up my recording slightly later than I start streaming. Um, so we've been going for over three hours today, which is uh, longer than I normally do. I normally go for a couple hours, but um, it was a lot of fun to um, get some level requests in and do some challenges. So yeah, um, thanks for everyone. Uh, who joined and sent levels and followed. We got a lot of new followers today, which I really appreciate. Um, and, uh, you know, I may well see if this uh, works well as a good kind of YouTube video highlight thing. So, um, yeah, if you don't know, I have been throwing up some videos of uh my streams kind of condensed down into the kind of main highlights and putting that on youtube so i will have a look and see if uh see if this works well um i'm sure i can put up some something of me doing those challenges could make for a good video but yeah thank you all for stopping by um uh, and I will be back for sure uh, 
next same time next week. Um, but if I go live at other times, then I'll probably post on Twitter or something about that. Um, so cool. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.